But your grandmother, Ken, she did come to, to Britain to see... She saw you on stage. She did, eventually. I mean, she, she, uh, <laughs> she was really sort of built into the fabric of Belfast, but we got her out to England once and... Uh, it, she laughed at the idea of me being an actor, many people did, but um, <laughs> uh, she was baffled by it. So we took her to see me in a, in a play, um, and she was with my parents. I was playing uh, St Francis of Assisi, a nice Protestant lad, and, <laughs> and, um, and uh, we put her in the front row and we gave her the little opera glasses, you know, because her eyesight wasn't so good. Only problem was that in playing Francis, who was an ordinary man at the beginning of the play, I find God, and in the way of saints, when I find God, I have to be born again, and when I am born again, I have to be born naked. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I've got to take my kit off in front of my granny. She's in the front row, oh, she's no. got the opera glass. <laughs> I think, I'll oh, bugger this. I thought, bugger, just go for it, just go for it. So get to the end of the first half, walk down, I think I can do this, and I go... I get ready for the big uh, end of first act finish. Father, father, tis I, I am born again. <laughs> Thought, just go for it. I felt like Danny Dyer on the wall. Um, <laughs> drop him! <'em. laughs> it was block and tackle going, crown jewels in the wind, but I've got them. Total silence, they're listening, they're, they're, it's, you, you know, you could, you could hear a pin drop, absolute rapture at the sight of great acting, <laughs> and then I hear from the back of the auditorium a voice say, I've seen more meat on a dirty fork. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Not very helpful. <laughs> and then my granny, she stands up, she turns around, she holds up the opera glasses and says, Use your binoculars, it looks like a bloody hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> she, was, she, she was always protecting me. <laughs>